Hey guys, it's Baby Powder and it is Sunday and it is time for our mailbox clean out week number 40. 40 weeks we've been doing this. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of been a long road here. We are getting really close with Transmog, getting up to 10 million gold and actually win this whole thing. I might even still actually carry it out until, uh, which actually I think I might have mentioned at the very beginning. I might carry it out uh, because I'm not quite ready for my next uh, set of mailbox clean outs yet. Uh, with leveling groups and stuff because I haven't really had time to level the groups up yet uh, There are I'm probably gonna actually end up just boosting two groups and then just leveling one Which I actually kind of started on but it's been a slow process because I just haven't been on those tunes uh, But uh, but yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and see how long it takes the other groups to make it up to 10 million uh, If they lose which uh, I mean it I mean transmog was only like 400,000 uh, away from hitting 10 million last week so uh they might even just get up there this week i don't know there was an issue with one of my rounds where i was having trouble posting because it was like the mailbox was just running extremely slow uh the auction house was running extremely slow it was just annoying i just really wasn't posting on that round and then uh this i did the simplest thing <laughs> which you know uh I just went to another city and started posting there and I fixed the issue uh which i wish i would have just done in the first place because i went days without posting on that realm which is actually my potatoes realm uh if you're wondering uh that was the uh the one on the horde side ogomar was just having some issues with trying to post there and it just uh was really laggy and it just really sucked so <laughs> yeah it was, it was a big problem uh but anyway, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, week number 40 uh, and see how well we did. Hey right, guys, so as always, we're first starting out with uh, low value transmog and seeing where they sit. And I don't really post on them as much as I used to, even though it has seemed a lot better when posting on them than it was in the past with the new auction house. Uh, except for, at least, like I said, that one realm, I was having uh, struggles with, you know, the lag and stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's really been a lot nicer, but I still have been kind of avoiding posting on them at least every single one of the realms every day because of how long it takes. Uh, especially this past week, because this past week has been like my busy week because like I work longer shifts and and everything, and uh, we've actually taken on uh, uh, some new stuff with my daughter, so it takes you know a lot of more time, a lot more time out of my day, and so most times I'm just trying to catch up on sleep, and that's why you really haven't seen a video. Uh, in between this week because uh, I've really been trying to adjust to this new schedule uh, that has really started with my daughter this week uh, so I do apologize for that guys um, but I will try to get it adjusted and get to where we do have uh, more stuff coming out if I have to actually like go ahead and record more stuff this week and then put it out the next week or whatever uh, but anyway let's get back into the clean out uh, so right here uh, we're on our alliance side first as always and we've got uh, 31 items sold, so not too bad as far as the amount. Uh, 22,238, so not too bad as far as, you know, it's just low value transmogs. So you don't expect too much anyway. Uh, and let's see, we do got a couple over 1,000, a couple over 2,000 here. Uh, one over 3,000, a uh, brittle uh, flame reaver mask, so not bad there. And that's really about it, you know, just a couple, you know, a couple over 2,000, even some really low ones here. But all that stuff adds up and like i've mentioned before the low value stuff is just right before uh, you know right at that level where i'm about to vendor it uh but i figure it might be at least worth it to put it on these tunes uh so anyway let's i'll go ahead and clear this out we'll switch to our horde side and see if we got any over there all right guys so we are on our horde side now this is the one that the potatoes contribute to as far as the bank also go and still low value transmog uh as that's always the first one we go to and we have 19 sales, 20,710 gold. It's pretty good seeing that I didn't really post on them that much because uh, even though this tune, as you can see, is in Silver Moon, uh, I didn't even bother going to this round because I thought there was issues with it, <laughs> with posting on there, uh, because I thought that it was, you know, the whole server or something uh, with this, you know, server or whatever. Uh, so I didn't even realize that, you know, until I decided to actually post on this tune. That's what gave me the idea. Like, you know, hey, everything seems to be posting fast enough and clearing out the mailbox fine with this bank tune. And then that's when I decided to bring my other bank tune. As you'll see now my high value transmog tune is actually in Silver Moon as well. 
uh, because, you know, it's a lot faster. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, so yeah, we got uh, 19 cells at 20,000. Uh, we have some Tyrant's Gauntlets at over 3,000 gold. Uh, another one, uh, Iron Hide Greaves, which those Iron Hide pieces seem to be pretty popular sometimes, you know. Yeah, maybe not bringing the biggest chunk of gold, but they seem to sell, you know, decently almost every single week, uh, it seems like here lately. Uh, but anyway, sold some of those for over 6,000 gold. Um, and that's really about it. A I mean, a couple over 1,000, one over 2,000 here, but nothing really else to really spotlight here. Uh, so yeah, I'll clear this out. We'll add this in and we'll switch to our last one, which is usually the round that struggles the most with transmog. Hopefully there's some cells in there. All right, guys. So we are on our last bank tomb for lo bank tomb for last. Uh, I can't speak now. <laughs> last tomb for uh, low value <laughs> transmog. Uh, sorry. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we've got 11 cells at 12,374 gold. So it's better than nothing. Um, and it's still low value transmog. So uh, a couple over a thousand here, uh, almost 2000 of that one, one over 2000 and a couple over 1000 here. Nothing really great. A uh, one over 3000 Ravager's crown. Okay. Uh, so yeah, not too bad, you know, 11 cells and over 12,000, I'll take it. Uh, so as far as just the low value stuff, uh, that will give us 55,322 gold, which is really nice. I mean, it's, it's just stuff, like I said, that's right at that level where I'm about to vendor it. Uh, and I just decide, you know, hey, it's probably going to be a quick enough sell to where it's at least worth trying to sell it on these low value bank calls. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely uh, happy if, you know, I can get even over 30,000 with this low value stuff, really. Uh, especially since I'm not posting on it as much. I mean, I'm posting maybe one of the t uh, tunes uh, during the week and on, on one of these low value bank tunes during the week if I do that uh, and basically other than that it's just when I clear this out and I post and then uh, right before I do the video again I post so maybe twice a week uh, sometime uh, so yeah <laughs> anything it brings me I I'm happy with but anyway let me go ahead and clear this out we'll switch over to high value transmog uh, so we can go ahead and start adding that to our total for transmog. All right, guys. So we are on our alliance group again. And this time we are doing high value transmog. Uh, as always, <laughs> that's the rotation that we go. Uh, and this is what we got. So we've got uh, 11 cells at 74,197 gold. It's not too bad. Um, not as good as it's been in the past sometimes, but still not bad. Take it. Uh, some really low ones here to start out with. And then right here, almost 16,000 gold, the Buccaneer's Vest, which you get from farms like the Black Tabby Cat Farm. Uh, you can get from the Crimson Wellpling Farm. Uh, yeah, so really nice there. Uh, Ethereum, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Nexus Reaver, uh, it's a two-handed axe. Uh, it's an epic that comes from uh, Doomwalker. Uh, he's out there in Shadowmoon Valley. Uh, he's one of those uh, rare bosses or whatever that you can kill, uh, kind of like Doomlord Kazakh, but Doomlord Kazakh's been Hellfire Peninsula, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's always nice to check to see if this guy's up, you know, either when you uh, first go to do like uh, primal water or primal air uh, and like uh, right before you do the farm and possibly right after uh, to see if they're up. Uh, but yeah, that comes from there. Uh, and then we got an exalted harness, uh, which sold for almost 10, well, a little over 9,000 gold. Uh, rather and that comes from like uh, Solithus, which I got a whole bunch of those left over from Solithus. Uh, I actually think I got to where I had so many of them I'm actually vendoring some of them just to keep it clear out of my you know bank uh, which actually there's one right there <laughs> speaking of which uh, and then we got a pattern uh, of rune staging stygian boots or whatever how you say that uh, and that actually is one of those patterns I believe uh, you get those from uh, turning in those uh, little items, those quest items that you can get from the Solithus farms, those little uh, paper things or whatever. Uh, yeah, you turn those in, and this is one of the patterns that you can get from doing that. Uh, I've actually started vendoring those patterns, which actually I might try to uh, sell some of them on the auction house. I've actually uh, heard from one of the people, I think, in uh, Discord or, or whatever, that said that they sold some for quite a bit. So, um, I might stop vendoring them for a little bit. Uh, they're like the Twilight uh, things or whatever. Um, but yeah, I started vendoring them because I still have like a, tons of these patterns for backup in my guild bank. So I don't really need the patterns right now. 
Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll go ahead and clear this out and we'll switch to our next one to see what our horror group brought us, even though we didn't post on them that much uh, this week. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, we are on our next bank vault, which is the one that the potatoes contribute to uh, once again. Uh, and <laughs> as you see, we're in Silver Moon City now. Uh, and this is for high value transmog. So we've got three cells at 22,000, 21 gold. Uh, seeing as much as we actually post it, I'm actually happy with that. I'll take it. Um, let's see, we did sell a uh, battered sur scale chess piece uh, for over 18,000 gold. It's not bad there. And the other two are just really low. Blade of Misfortune. That's really low for that one. I kind of can't believe it sold for that little. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely uh pretty low for those uh but yeah i'll take it seeing that we didn't really get to post that much on this uh bank tune um so yeah uh we'll go ahead and add that into what we have already and switch to our last one which hopefully that can bring us a little bit more since we kind of lucked out on this uh bank tune all right guys so we are on our last bank tune for transmog before we switch over to materials uh and hopefully this group has something as i mean they've struggled on this realm a little bit with transmog we got two sales this is better than none uh 4274 gold uh and they're really really low black knight's the highest one over 3000 gold so yeah definitely don't look for them to be that low on the high value transmog side of things but things drop in value and uh just like things go up in value on the low value bank tunes uh but yeah that leaves us with a total for transmog for this week at 155,814 gold so it's not going to be too hard for the other groups to catch up and uh that's definitely going to uh, leave it to where uh we don't have a winner quite yet as well uh because they had to be up to like almost 400,000 gold in order to hit that 10 million uh but anyway guys let's go ahead and uh, switch over to materials and see how well they did this week all right guys so we are back on the alliance and this time is for materials to see how well they did and let's go ahead and take a look so we've got 36 sales as many sales as we normally have with the lights but then again like i said it's been a busy week for me and so materials is one of those things yeah they sell super fast but you have to be able to go out and farm them i mean they takes a lot of materials to equal up to the amount you know transmog will whereas transmog you get multiples and multiples of items and yeah they don't sell right away but then when you're having a slow week they can back you up because you'll be getting the sales on them so anyway uh so we got 36 items at 52,389 gold so not too bad as far as the value goes um let's see we sold some eternal fire that one kind of stands out a little over 1,000 gold for 12 of them so definitely not bad there uh champ boots minor speed two of those for almost a thousand gold primal water 27 of those for over 5,000 not too bad uh primal air 19 of those for over uh 8 000 gold not too bad uh definitely i'll take that this is, uh, i think that's a little bit better than it was last time uh, i'm not quite sure on that and then uh we sold some primal mana nice to get rid of some of that we've got so much after doing that 10 hour farm we still got a lot uh for over 1600 gold uh we've got uh some bolts of emerson cloth 168 for 1627 gold so not too bad there bolts of rune cloth almost 600 one away from 600 uh over 3000 gold uh then uh we also got uh, a primal water stack of only eight here for over 3000 gold definitely not bad there uh we also got a greater cosmic essence uh sale here for 64 of them for over 1200 gold uh let's see we sold some primal fire here 61 of those for over 20,000 gold um i'm not that might be okay <laughs> i'm not quite sure uh let's see so that would mean that it's about what yeah that, that's not too bad that's not too bad that means about five thousand gold per 20 stack or something like that uh maybe a little bit more actually or a little less uh, that's okay I, I'm, I'm okay with that that's not too bad um let's see we also sold that's about it really as far as things to really point out just some smaller things here uh bolts of silk cloth for 427 gold uh greater celestial essence uh 86 of those for 887 gold so yeah some just some really low stuff 
Uh, but yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, definitely added up to a decent amount here. Uh, so yeah, we'll clear this out and we'll switch over to a horde side and see if they got any sales for material. All right, guys. So we are on our second bank alt, uh, which is the one potatoes contribute to for uh, materials this time though. Uh, and this is a weird thing. As you notice, I am an Ogremar on this one, but this one actually didn't seem to have any issues <laughs> with clearing out the mailbox and posting. So it's kind of really weird uh, that it's the same realm and everything but i didn't really have any issues on this one maybe it's because it is materials because my actual actually my uh which i still haven't moved that one but my toys and pets uh bank alt had the same issue but it didn't seem as bad as there's not as many items to post with that bank tune uh, so i just kind of dealt with it it was just like really laggy and slow uh but anyway as you see here now it is actually acting kind of slow it took a little while to load up there uh it didn't seem like that in the past when I was posting on it earlier. Um, but anyway, this is our sales. We got 27 at 85,869 gold. Actually, it's pretty surprising. <laughs> and look, this is it right here. This is what did it. I just did this on stream uh, the other night, uh, which my wild vine farm uh, is, is pretty awesome. I mean, it's the same farm a lot of people have covered, but I found a way to hyper spawn it. It just takes 10 people to do it. And I mean... Look at this, 46 wild vines sold overnight. I just did it on stream last night. They sold overnight uh, for 34,960 gold. So that is insane. I might have to do it again tonight if I can get another multi-boxer to join me. Uh, so yeah, I want to give a shout out to Scrog. Thank you, uh, Scrog, for <laughs> helping me uh, with uh, doing that last night so I can get this sell today. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, definitely I'll, I'll put a link up the top of the screen for that wild vine video. Go check it out uh, It's definitely a good one uh, as you get so many more. I mean I got uh, We actually had some uh, had to adjust a little bit too. So it took us a little while to actually get it uh, flowing last night uh, But I actually took the side that you get the least amount of wild vine last night for the first time Actually <laughs> a lot of people were willing to just take that side uh, but I took that side last night and still end up getting like over 60 total uh which is awesome i mean i have from the other side gotten like 94 in an hour uh, as far as the wild vine goes so it's, it's really good uh definitely check it out but anyway guys uh we also sold five elemental force enchants for over a thousand gold here uh we also sold some primal life uh for 855 gold for only nine of them uh we sold some vault of water 614 for over 26,000 gold uh, so not bad there. Uh, Mark of Sargeras. So 800. I know it sounds like a lot, but you get so many of those doing that farm. Uh, 801 of those for over 13,000 gold. I might have to uh, farm up some more of those. That's pretty awesome right there. Uh, Elements of Force again, five of them for over 1,000 gold. Spirits of Harmony sold 10 of those for 760. Uh, another stack of Spirit of Harmony, 32 of them for almost 4,000 gold. It's not bad there and just some more enchants and some small things definitely that wild vine <laughs> that was the big seller right there uh so yeah that's awesome uh, i was uh, i wasn't uh, expecting that at all it's a nice surprise so we'll go ahead and add that in and we'll switch over to our last bank alt and hopefully because that one did the wild vine farm too hopefully we sold some on that room as well all right guys so we are on our last bank alt for materials and just to give you let you guys know it was actually really lagging on that tune that time i don't know why it wasn't before when i was posting um uh, but uh yeah i actually ended up having to take them it was so unbearable i had to take them to uh uh, silver moon city in order to just clear out the mailbox before i switched uh and start recording for this uh but anyway i don't it's, it's the weirdest thing uh but anyway guys uh, as far as the last tune for materials uh we've got 23 sales at 36,464 gold and no the wild vine didn't seem to sell last night on this one not uh so let's see what would, what did we sell we sold uh some living essence uh some vault of life uh, Vault of Water, 200 stack for over 11,000 gold. Definitely, I'll take that. Uh, Essence of Water, 113 for over 5,000 gold. Uh, not too bad there. And uh, some Vault of Fire, only 37 for over 1,000 gold. Some Pirate Ore, which comes from the Vault of Farms, 41 for uh, 1,700 gold. And then, uh, let's see, we sold some Vault of Earth. Uh, also, some Emersilk Cloth. 
actually just the claw because i actually haven't uh, gotten a tailor on this realm yet uh 469 for over 1700 gold almost 1800 gold not too bad there uh volatile air uh 41 of those for almost a thousand gold uh then we sold some unidentified plant parts which come from the primal uh life farm uh we sold uh 244 of those for over 2000 gold so definitely good there um then we have a primal mana cell 81 primal mana for over 9000 gold definitely will take that and we also still sold some of the small eggs we're still trying to get rid of so you see i still got some down here we're still trying to get rid of some of those from the christmas event and uh sold 172 of those for uh 326 gold so not quite the value we were getting uh during the uh feast of winter Bell, but still they're selling so you know whatever i'll post them uh, <laughs> uh it might be smart to just wait till next year and and try posting them so i don't have to do the farm uh as much but you know hey they're selling whatever is it's whatever it is uh but anyway let's go ahead and add that in see if we beat transmog uh I'm not sure i think it's going to be i think we might be yeah we actually beat transmog so uh materials is leading this week at 174,722 gold uh so awesome for them uh I, you know barely beating transmog uh almost 20,000 gold over uh what they made uh but yeah definitely will take that uh let's go ahead and switch over to uh toys and pets now and see how well they did all right guys so we are back on the lines this time is for the last time uh as we're on toys and pets that's our last group that we do and we've got nine cells uh 99,736 gold so starting off strong man uh in which we just got a sell the day that, that really led to that the black tabby cat <laughs> 55,641 gold which is the learn version too uh mind you guys uh so yeah really nice there um which actually i've done two different farms on that uh which actually i'll put the uh horde only version uh one up because i've already you know uh you know sponsored or, or spotlighted you know the other one and i've actually done a 10 hour farm on the other one and actually it seems like the horde only version actually seems to provide more black tabby cats uh i do enjoy still doing the neutral one uh but if you're actually looking to get as many as possible i would suggest that one so i'll put a link up to the, the uh, video on that one and definitely that one's nice too because uh, i mean you can easily do that with uh, a group of two i mean you can do it solo if you really wanted to um but if you are a smaller multi boxer i would definitely suggest doing that one uh but anyway guys uh let's go ahead and take a look at what else we sold uh some wad uh rare pets right here the energized mana fiend and the Inf imperial um uh, hopefully i said that right <laughs> a dark whelpling for over four thousand. not too bad there time lock box which is for the bronze whelpling as you see i got some right here uh sold one of those for over twelve thousand gold so not bad there two ruby thunder uh reigns of the thundering ruby cloud serpents which are a lot easier to get now so i'm definitely okay with that value with how easy it is to actually track down alani and get that mount uh so yeah one for eleven thousand one for nine thousand almost ten thousand gold on that one um and then a garn night howl for <laughs> almost two thousand gold which is awesome because that pet i mean you get so i mean you get five every time you kill that rare and it, it really it only takes me like 13 minutes to hit every single rare out there in the wide area i really just need to do it more often <laughs> that's why you don't see as many of those pets and stuff because even though it only takes me like 13 minutes to do it, I just don't get around to going out there and doing it, which, you know, I should. I should be doing it like every single day. That should be like one of the first things I do. Um, and and definitely uh, if you're you're new to this whole multi-box thing and you're trying to get some stuff from me, because the toys and the pets and even the Gar Night Howl, uh, even though I don't like come on Horde Realms, it doesn't sell for as much. For some reason, it's still keeping a decent value here on the Alliance Realm. Uh, they sell almost every single week <laughs> and it, it's pretty nice value especially with the toys uh it seems like they bring in a pretty decent value uh i don't see any toys uh sales this time uh, on this one but it might be that i didn't really have enough variety because i think this might be the only toy i really have left uh but yeah definitely uh go out there and do that one too um if you are just getting into trying to stock up on stuff to sell in the auction house uh, with your multi-box group uh but yeah definitely a good start there let's go ahead and switch over to the horde side and see how well they did all right guys so once again <laughs> we're back in ogremar on this one so we might actually actually after i go over this if i can get the mailbox to load up at least uh, i might have to end up switching to uh silver moon just to clear it out even though it's not going to be as much on this one uh but this is what we got 
So we've got not 14 sales. There's 14 items, uh, but we got 12 sales because I've got two ruby or a range of the ruby cloud serpents in here. Which actually we sold one, so we'll be able to clear one of these out. Uh, <laughs> which is nice because they're getting you know it's been 20. They got 21 days before they expire. Uh, so yeah, I've been uh, struggling to kind of sell some of these uh, uh, compared to you know the other realm, I guess. Uh, but anyway. We've got uh, one sell right here for over 18, almost 19,000 gold. So they're selling for more on this realm at least. And that's really nice with how easy, much easier uh, they are to get now. Um, but then you see, we sold all these Garn Nighthouse, but they're a lot lower, but still that's a lot more value uh, as far as the difference <laughs> uh, with the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent and the Alliance group and these though. But still they all sold, which is really nice. Uh, we sold uh, one of the parrot pets uh, from out there in STV, which is kind of low. That is the learned version though, because um, the other one would say parrot cage uh, for almost 6,000 gold. Uh, let's see, we sold some of the toys. These are the toys that I was talking about with the wild rares. One for almost 10,000 and one uh, at almost 6,000 gold here. Uh, then we sold another uh, Reigns of Thunder and Ruby Cloud Serpent for 19,000 gold. So a little bit more value there. Uh, so awesome with those another garn night how 855 gold a bronze whelpling so this is the learn one for uh 4750 and then another uh wild rare pet uh energized mana fiend for almost 3000 gold uh and that gives us 73,121. So toys and pets are knocking it out of the water this week uh which is really nice to see uh because they've been kind of you know uh really low lately compared to the other groups uh so that's, that's nice to see that uh, but anyway, guys, I will clear this out and I might have to go to Silvermoon. So it might take a little while before I get uh, to recording the last one. All right, guys. So we are on our last bank call for Toys and Pets uh, before we get to the end of the video where I go over everything. And to let you guys know, that's the weirdest thing because it was running slower on that uh, bank tune in Orgrimmar. And just now I was able to clear that mailbox without any problems. It cleared out uh, fast as it should be, you know, so... There, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. Like earlier, when I was actually trying to post uh, and clear everything out so I can make this video, it was running slow on that bank bank call. Now it wasn't, and it was actually running slow on the one you know right before it with the materials. So it, it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> so I, I I don't get it. But hey, it's, it's whatever. It, it cleared out. I might eventually later on have to move that bank off to Silver, Silver Moon until they figure out or get fixed or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the weird stuff I'm dealing with with that uh, account. <laughs> but anyway, we've got six sales here. 10,522 gold. So definitely nowhere near the other two groups. But hey, it's something. Uh, let's see. We sold a Frostwolf Ghost Pup, pup <laughs> for uh, over 1,000 gold. A Zomstruck pet uh, for over 3,000 gold, which I need to go out and farm some more of those. We tried on my stream the other night. We were going to try to hyper spawn it. Couldn't get it to work. Uh, so I'm just going to have to try to do it like I did in my video and just try to get some of those, uh, which really does not take long to get uh, get many of them. Uh, Filthing pet for 608 gold. Uh, Empowered Mana Fiend, another wad rare pet. And an Energized Mana Fiend, another wad rare pet for uh, one for almost 3,000 gold, one for almost 2,000 gold. And a Garn Night Howl for 665 gold. So, for our total with Toys and Pets, that's going to bring them to 183,379 gold, which means they win for the week. That's awesome. Because, uh, like I said, they have been kind of struggling uh, here a few times. I, I don't think it's been that long ago that they actually uh, won a week as well. Uh, but the week right after, they did, like, terrible. Uh, so, it's, it's actually, you know, they've been really behind so it's really nice to see that they actually came through and won uh this week uh so yeah i'll go ahead and calculate everything up and we'll get to the end of the video where i'll go over uh how much everybody made how much we made for the whole week and where we stand as far as all the weeks combined all right guys so to conclude the mailbox clean out for week number 40 uh we have poison pets winning at 183,000. 379 gold for the week. We have uh, materials coming in second at 174,722 gold. And we have um, Transmog coming in last actually at 155,814 gold. Still really good with all the groups. You know, they made over 100,000 gold, which, you know, I'm happy about. And I'm definitely happy that uh, 
uh, Toys Pets could actually come out so strong and actually win for a week. Uh, which puts us for the whole week at only 513,915 gold, which is still nice because we're over 500,000. As long as I make over 500,000, I'm okay with that. Even though we just barely made over 500,000 gold. Uh, but definitely happy uh, with those Toys and Pets sales. And I was really excited to see that Wild Vine sale. Uh, I mean, sold overnight and that many of them. That was, that was awesome. Um, but as far as all the weeks combined where they stand, uh, we have Transmog still in the lead, of course, because <laughs> they're almost there at the 10 million mark at 9,764,249 gold. Uh, then we have Materials in second at 6,000,000. Uh, 167 gold. And we have Toys and Pets in last at 5,494,366 gold. Uh, which brings us to a total for all 40 weeks. Uh, we are now sitting at 22,449,170 gold. So not bad uh, for 40 weeks. Uh, 20, over 22 million. Almost 22 and a half million. Um, so I'll definitely take that. Uh, definitely be looking forward to see how many, uh, how much more we can increase this by next week. As I should actually have more time and be adjusting to this new schedule that I have. Uh, a lot more by next week so hopefully i can get more items up and we can get some more sales uh but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it uh if you did go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below also hit that thumbs up uh to let me know that you like it and <laughs> it definitely helps out uh also make sure that you uh leave me a comment down below and let me know you know what you might like to uh see me farm as far as you know uh materials and try to get some more sales in that area as i feel like i just i, I need a start you know posting more of certain items or something um as i don't feel like materials is getting much as much attention as it needs to plus you know like i said i was adjusting to a new schedule last week so i didn't get to farm as many as i normally would uh but let me know if uh maybe you know some materials you're having really good luck with and maybe i'll try some myself um but also guys uh don't forget about the links down below i will be streaming on twitch tonight this is not the week that we actually do the uh giveaway uh but every two weeks i do do a giveaway on twitch as well so definitely come in and jo join in we'll, we have a lot of fun on there uh also allow you know viewers to join my group so if you're not a multi-boxer or you're a smaller multi-boxer and you want to join a group farm you can join my group uh and we can knock out a farm also uh don't forget about discord there's a great group uh group of guys and gals in there you can uh talk to to get some help with your multi-boxing setup uh also possibly do some other bigger farms like wild vine where it takes 10 people to do uh, and don't forget about uh, my links for uh, Twitter and Facebook. You can follow me on there as well. But anyway, guys, that's about all I have. This is Baby Powder. Peace. I'm out.